Liam McKay, also known as Sign Crush's Motorist, also known as Birthday, also known as Moonwater, also known as Take Care, also known as Hold, also known as Manta, also known as Miserable Teens Club, also known as Make His Rib Show, also known as Dead Calm, is an 18-year-old music artist born and raised in Ireland who is a man of many names. With around 10 bands and two years actively releasing music, Liam McKay has not so slowly become one of the bigger names in slowcore and indie music as a whole. So in this short five minute documentary, I am to go over who he is and what he does. With so many projects under his belt, it would almost seem daunting to try and get into his music and explore him as an artist. So we'll start from the beginning. Obviously, I don't have anywhere near enough time to go over all of his projects, but I'll briefly talk about a couple, starting with the very beginning, that being Moonwater. Liam McKay's music in two words would be warm and sad. Naming the band Duster is a huge inspiration for him. Um, a lot of my music, I don't know, yeah, it's like slowcore stuff. Um, really inspired by like Duster and all, as you can probably tell. You know, Sand Crusher's Motorist is a Duster song. Um, and like birthday and all that. That's, I don't know, I kind of tried to make it like warm. He released his first self-titled EP mid-2021. Containing five tracks, this EP is nothing particularly special, even stating it as his worst project on his Instagram in September this year. However, I do think it is very important as most first projects are. It lays the groundwork for the rest of his music in the following years, which is really the best thing a first project can do. Jumping a year into the future, with a few more projects under his belt, Liam McKay releases his first album under the name Take Care, which then becomes a trilogy of projects, those being Agony, Reject, and Alive. This being his biggest project with three albums instead of the usual one or two, and each album covering a different feeling. So you don't go into it being like, oh, this is a Take Care album, this is a, you know, well, birthday album. Take, take Care was a little bit different. I wrote all of those just kind of flat out because I was... That, that that was kind of that was a real wave of kind of inspiration. Like the last album, I'm really proud of it. Like it's either that or Boyhood are like my two favorite albums that I've written, and both of them took me like like two weeks max to write and like record and, and mix and all that. The final project I want to talk about is Sign Crush's Motorist, and specifically the album I'll Be Okay. This being Liam McKay's most popular album, I thought I should include it. This is also my personal favorite album with a few songs being in my rotation. I'll Be Okay, released in August of 2022, is the album that got Liam McKay really out there, with multiple songs garnering over 10 million to 20 million streams. This album is also extremely popular on TikTok, with people using their songs in the background of depressing slideshows. The album is about a girl, with many of the lyrics in the songs being about her, and also a couple of the song titles referring to her. However, there is one song, the last song, that is a little bit different. I threw a rock off an overpass and killed the guy is the closer to the album and a very rough listen, sampling the movie Hereditary for the screaming and crying. Even if it doesn't fit the central theme of the album, I do think it's a very cool song, or more just like piece of art. Just in two years, Liam McKay has made a large impact on slowcore and indie music as a whole, has inspired many artists all over the world, amassed millions of fans, and is just getting started. <laughs>